Welcome back guys to another Magicka PvE build for the Blackwood chapter. This time with my powerful Magicka Sorcerer. I passed with a dual Inferno setup with Seroria and the new raid set Bases Mania and the new mythic item Harpoonus Raiding Guild. After a couple of hours I managed to get over 108k DPS, which means Magicka Sorcerers are the strongest Magicka DDs in this patch. It was not only a lucky pass, the constancy in terms of DPS is awesome on a Magicka Sorcerer. I was always above 103 to 106k DPS. Even with a lot of mistakes, you can still reach high passes. So perfect for beginners. I did a couple of tests with Mother Sorrow 2. DPS wise, only 2 to 3k less. You don't even have to change your rotation with Vasa's. Just try to delay to take the synergies, since we have to keep our Magicka as low as possible. Before I show you the easy and effective rotation, do me a favor, sub my channel and support this time intensive work, I would really appreciate it. But enough talk, let's start with the rotation explanation. Here we go with the rotation, summon both pets first, then I drain my Magicka until 50% with uh, a seed shield, so we benefit already at the start of the fight from Baza's damage boost, then use Boundless Storm, Channel Acceleration, swap back to Barb Trap with an add-on like Dressing Room, activate the Twilight Pet, followed by the Familiar Pet, then the Ultimate, but drop it behind the target like me to be not in combat. Step closer. Use Unstable Wall of Fire with Curse and then start to spam Crystal Frag until a dot expire. Try to instant use a Crystal Frag proc before you reapply Curse and the Familiar Pet to increase the amount of Crystal Frag procs. Then you have always a 35% chance to proc a Crystal Fragment if you use a Magic ability. So don't hold the proc, use it directly. By the way, you can recognize the proc if the skill icon below on your bar glows pink. You only reactivate the familiar pet as dot. The twilight pet is only useful for passive damage. You can activate it in immunity phases, like for example in Sunspire if the dragons fly around, or in Cloudrest if Smarja is potting around, or in Asylum if Orms gets protected by the spheres. Keep this rotation up until 20%, then you only reapply Unstable Wall and Barb Trap as dots and use Mage Wrath instead of the Crystal Fragment cast, in combination with only the Crystal Frag procs. If you have questions about it, type it in the comment section below. Now have fun with the pass.
quick look on the build. 5 Bazaar's Mania, the new light armor raid set on the body, which gives us a ton of damage with low magicka pool. You could use Mother Soul instead here. On the legs, the new mythic item Harpoonus Waiting Guild, which gives us a ton of crit damage and crit rate. One Slime Claw for extra crit. On jewelry, Zero Rare for Bloodthirsty, with two Zero Diggers, with one Flame and one Poison Chant. You could use the Zero Inferno stuff here, it's more or less the same DPS. On the back bar, like always, the Malsum Inferno with the Berserker Glyph. Against Undeaths or Deedras, use the Prismatic Glyph instead. Skills, same like last patch. On the front bar, Mage Wrath, our Execute, which we use at 20%. Dandic Prey, a strong burst out, keep it up for 20% extra damage on your pets. Crystal Fragment, our spammable. The Familiar Pet and the Twilight Pet. We have to slot them on both bars, don't forget that. As ultimate, the Greater Storm Artonarch. On the back bar, Boundless Storm, Unstable Ball of Fire, Barb Trap for Minor Force, and both pets again with the same ultimate. As race, like on every Magicka class, Khajiit is best in slot for PvE, followed by High Elf and Dunmo. As Mundo Stone, the Thief for extra crit, Buffwood Ghastly Eyeball, for more HP and Magicka use Arteon Picket Fishbowl instead, or full damage the green max magicka food. Quick look on the CPs. The blue ones are Backstabber, Fighting Finesse, Deadly Aim and the new blue CP Mastered Arms, which gives 10% more direct damage. If you can't flank the enemy, use Tower Touch instead of Backstabber. Red CPs, Rejuvenation, Boundless Vitality, Slippery and Ironclad. If you have issues to keep your max magicka pool low, for Baza's Mania, swap Rejuvenation for another red CP, like Spirit Mastery, to resurrect your mates even faster. It's pretty nice, especially for the new trial. Here we are at the end of the video. This was my last PvE build for now. Only map per lift, but I've never played it before, and I don't want to give you some half knowledge about a class which I've never played before. Next videos will be PvP builds for every class. Now that the proc sets are back, I can finally play my Master Brawler builds again. I hope you enjoyed this PvP journey with me. Maybe I will do some passes with other builds, if I have time of course. But for now, I will chill a bit. Thanks for watching and the support. Have a nice day. Stay healthy my friends. See you in the next video. Ciao.